Within the context of this type of attack, there's really two types of network connections that we need to focus on, session-oriented and cookie-based. Session-oriented are more of the classic traditional network-based sessions, the TCP-type sessions that you might think of when you think of network sessions. They're established on demand. They remain established and in place while communication is going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then when either party decides no longer to participate in this or when no traffic happens for a certain amount of time, the connection is torn down or closed and then that session is gone, gone forever. And a lot of times it depends on some key bits of information like MAC address, IP address, and sequence number. Sequence number is the one we'll focus on in this particular lesson. There are other videos that will cover things like MAC spoofing and IP address spoofing. And cookie-based, which I'll mention a specific attack in a moment, the network connection itself is based on a cookie, some type of data that's stored on the client. You probably already know what a cookie is, so I won't go through a lengthy explanation of that, but some network connections are based on cookies, especially the ones that actually base their authentication on cookies, save the authentication information as part of the cookie. That's the kind of stuff that's easiest to hijack and is best for us as ethical hackers. As a brief, brief, brief reminder, each TCP session has this concept of a three-way handshake. This is networking 101, not really domain of this uh, exam or this course, but I want to make sure you understand that that we have this three-way handshake that gets established when a TCP connection is set up. SYN, SYNAC, and ACK. And the important part for the ethical hacking piece is that we've got this sequence number and this ACK number, these numbers that get passed back and forth. Typically, these are random numbers, random numbers uh, that are established so that we can actually, between the two parties, sequence the data. We know what data arrives in what sequence and so forth. They provide a fringe benefit of actually making it a little harder to step into the middle of a TCP connection unless we can predict this, the numbers, the sequence number and act numbers, or we can control them in some way, which is actually kind of hard to do. But remember the TCP three-way handshake as we take a look a little bit later at one specific type of session hijacking, and you'll see what I mean by the sequence number uh, hijacking or, or understanding and predicting a sequence number.